Congratulations to all the migrants in Germany. So pay attention to what I have to say. This is a good news, actually, for those of you who, for one reason or the other, were not granted resident permit. That is document. Okay? Now, the government has said that they are going to give people opportunity to work. Those people who doesn't have document. Okay? The opportunity to work. So you have to pay attention to get the full details of what I'm going to talking about. We're going to be giving you full details, so you will not be missing out on anything. Now, let's go into it. No time to waste. Now, the German government have um, brought out measures on easing asylum seekers' access, giving them easy access to the labor market. That is working in Germany now, whether you have documents or you have not gotten your document. And even those who the asylum seeking has failed, will be able to work despite what may come at the end of your appeal. Now, new legislation would allow successful asylum seekers in Germany quicker access to the job market, while mandating stiffer punishment for people, smuggl uh, people smugglers, that is those who are smuggling immigrants into Europe. Germany's government has been under pressure based on migration. You know that a lot of things have been. And I just told you recently that um, Olaf Scholz visited Nigeria. And um, when I made that video, a lot of people have been coming under the comment section to say that, oh, it's a lie, it's a lie. But I wonder where the lie is, because that's why I'm giving you full details. I don't just come out to say these things. I have to, you know, read it out and interpret so that you guys can understand where I'm coming from, what I'm talking about, and where we are heading to. Germany's cabinet on Wednesday, which is today, approved legislation that would allow asylum seekers now, remember that, I mean, asylum seekers. So, which means that these people have not gotten documents. They are still seeking asylum and their documents are still in process. So, this is a good news to all of you who are still on this table. Okay, okay. Now, this is going to allow asylum seekers to stop working sooner. Very, very soon, they are going to be working legally in Germany. Unlike uh, now, as it is, those who doesn't have those uh, documents will have to stay in the camp while they are waiting for their document to be processed. But this is ending very soon. Okay. Now they say also um, they have plans to stiffen sentences for smugglers. Now, Interior Minister Nancy Fieser said asylum seekers would be allowed to work after three or six months after arrival, down from the nine-month mark currently in place. This legislation still requires parliamentary approval. It has not been approved yet, too, but they are going to approve it in no distant time. So after, after um, how many months of arrival? After six months of your arrival in Germany, they are going to allow you to start working. Once this is implemented and signed by the cabinet and all the parliament, I'm going to also come out here to inform you that it's been signed and it is done so you can those of you who wants to flee to germany <laughs> i know a lot of people love to go to germany and i'm planning to also visit germany very soon let me see what's going on there all right so vice chancellor robert habeck said the idea behind the legislation was to make sure that asylum seekers were out of the social system and into employment now let me tell you what that means it means that those in the camps who are earning salary or earning pocket money, the, gov the government wants to change that status quo and put these people into the labor market so that they can produce, they can be productive for the German system okay? instead of receiving money. Remember that you also pay house rent, you now pay bills. So that will also increase the GDP of the German economy. You get so they are now beginning to reason properly because to me in the past they were not reasoning properly the government also signaled um that it is cracking down on people smugglers this has said its plans it plans to cause for most offensive involving smuggling to be punished with a minimum of one year in prison up from six months 
it foresees a sentence of between 10 years to life in prison for smuggling resulting in death. In all cases of smuggling offenses, police will be entitled to tap suspected smugglers, cell phones, visa added. So those people who are smuggling, now the government said that they are going to be tapping your lines to record what you are saying and your communications with other people. So if you know that you are in this category, then you are not safe. Government under pressure on migration. The new legislative proposal comes as the ruling coalition has been under massive pressure to regulate and reduce migration with shelters for migrants and refugees filling up across Germany as arrivals continue to climb higher in numbers. Okay, German's cabinet last week approved legislation designed to make it easier for authorities to carry out the deportation of individuals who have had their asylum requests denied. Now, I told you people when this update came out, and after that, Olaf Scholz went to Nigeria and Ghana also to sign or have a migration agreement um, that we allow them to deport Nigerian citizens and Ghanaians too. Okay, but when I said that, some people said, "Oh, these are you know a lot of people who doesn't know what's going on." He said, "No, of course, it wasn't only the reason why he visited Nigeria. He also visited President Tinubu um, for energy." Um, needs for gas, you know, you know, now Europe um, is having issues with gas since uh, the war um, between Ukraine and Russia started and they had issues. The people were taking sides. So the thing has really affected Europe. If not that the Andiocha, uh, it would have been a disaster if it were to be an African country at least for don't rage. But um, because they know what they are doing, they know how to manage themselves. That's why they have been able to carry um, on. Now, in moving forward, the legislation was sharply criticized by right groups and the youth wing of the Green Party for being inhumane. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz is due to hold a meeting with the premiers of Germany's 16 federal states on Monday, with migration expected at the top of the agenda. You know, I told you people that a, a, a new election will be holding soon. So they are trying to at least systemize everything that will also enable them to remain in power. Okay. Now, the Conservative Opposition Party, the CDU, won in several state elections last month as the topic of migration remains a top concern for voters. So, voters are voting for people that will eradicate migration, the influx of migrants, because of the things that we've been seeing, fighting, all these especially now that there is war between Israel and the Palestine, um, the, the rate of protest and violence in Europe. Remember, I told you people the other time that a, a, a migrant of this Islamic country, one of these Islamic countries, shot dead two persons in Germany. Okay, So these things, are a lot of people are beginning to feel concerned about these migrants saying that, oh, we are not safe living with these people and they need to be reduced to the barest minimum. I beg you, we are not part of those people who are making problems, all right? So I beg, allow us and give us documents to the work to survive. I don't see how Nigeria is, right? The man visited Nigeria recently. Now, how would the rules change? Some of you might be asking. People whose asylum applications have failed. Listen, pay attention. People whose applications have failed for one reason or the other. Now, let me give you examples, such as illness and cannot be deported. And those people will be given permission to work in the future, is as said. Okay? So you have to understand that. Understand that those who came from nations deemed safe countries of origin and have no case to stay or refuse to disclose their identity will not be allowed to work. Note that to those who are coming from safe countries, hmm. even as it struggles with the new arrivals, the government is also grappling with a shortage of skilled labor. Peace has said the legislation approved by cabinet on uh, approved by cabinet Wednesday was important to get people employed sooner. This is above all about the people who are already here, where we think getting them into work early for reasons of integration is helpful and of course it leads to acceptance in the rest of the population 
these people who came here also walk dead. So this is the latest update that I have for you coming right from Germany. So those of you who are in Germany or this, but if you're coming from a country they deemed safe or more, you're standing at a very big risk, except maybe you have one ailment that you can tell them, oh, I have this kind of sickness that usually comes seasonally. So it will allow you to walk and stay in Germany. Update right now, so please share this information and also inform others about it. Let me know your own reaction and what you think about it through the comment section. Thank you and God bless you. Bye bye for now.